Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. And it is time, once again, for me to play video games, for your benefit on the internet. For your edification and entertainment. For your terrible little pleasures. It's me, Self-Critical Automaton. Right, so, I'm just going to dive right in and pick up where I was. With Teardown. As always, let me know if I need to tweak audio balance between my voice and the game, if either needs to be louder, smaller, differently ratioed to one another. And maybe sniffling a bit because I'm a bit sick, because I'm always sick, because that's the world we live in now, where everybody is sick all of the time, and most people pretend they're not. Anyway, uh, I think last time we almost reached a point where I had not seen the next missions. There's a couple of missions... Oops. <clears throat> That's fine, I'll, I can patch the roof later. There's a couple of missions that I haven't done, I think, that are available at this point, but this one is the next one I've tried. Yeah, definitely. This is this this is the last one I've of uh, mission of the game I've tried. I think I didn't beat it when I was trying it before. We read it last stream. I'm not going to read it again right now. Oh god, all three of these are on here. But uh, we have to steal a bunch of fran fancy cars from a guy. He wants you to steal his own cars because. Uh, then he can scam the insurance money. Which is a curious thing to do with a collection that you seem like you actually care about owning, but, uh... <laughs> funny thing about rich people, they don't always give the slightest of shits. So, it looks like we've got six cars to steal. I need to steal at least three, but I've made it a point of pride to, uh, 100% every level so far. At some point, I may need to start accepting compromise on that, but I'm willing to keep trying for now. <coughs> this careless gardening does serve a purpose. I need to get the cars to the truck that's over there, and this one I can actually move viably, potentially. Hmm, I'm not sure how the cables work, actually. I may as well try them out. Oh, this thing is missing some wheels. Okay, good to know. Uh oh. Okay, well that didn't work. Such is life, I suppose. Anyway, knowing it doesn't have wheels, I wonder if I can find a crane. That That's crane liftable. But I don't know if there's actually a crane in this level. We've got a digger. We've got a... There might be another digger over there. Ah, the crane hiding behind that tree. Okay, so if I can get that crane, I should be able to move this one. Again, apologies for the sniffles. I don't even have the heart to vandalise this guy's mansion anymore, really. I've vandalised it so many times, you start to lose... It starts to, it starts to feel a bit pointless, really. It's just... You know, irrelevant, shameless public masturbation after a certain point. Low-key expecting one of my regular viewers to pop in in exactly that moment and be like... Gasping from sprinting, what I miss, what I miss. But no. Oh, hey. Oh, that's the rake for uh, doing Zen gardening. 
I thought it was perhaps a sledgehammer, and I was amused by the idea of picking up another sledgehammer. And dual wielding. Oh, hello. What are you for? Oh, a forklift. Lovely. That's new. It's also not a format of forklift I've seen in real life. Ah, he's replacing that. Why has he got a car up here? Oh shit, I need to steal this. Huh. Yeah, that one might be a bit difficult. I suppose if I can drop the car vertically, then I can drive it to the exit. So I'll probably have to cut a hole around it and then leave the last bit of the thing. Or I could knock a hole in this wall and drive it out, but it's facing the wrong direction. Or I could knock a hole in that wall, turn it around and drive it that way. Although the difficulty with that is if I if I drop it, will it break itself into pieces with the force of the impact? Let's find out. Oh, wow. It didn't even break the alarm. That's extremely promising. That means I can just reverse it and get it the hell out of here. Okay, great. Very promising start to that. I'll come back to this guy. I'll come back to this one in a minute. Alright, well that's one made easier. Can I? Hmm, can I get up there? Oh, I know how to get up there. I can use my special ability called piece of wood. It solves every problem. Oh, this one's not valuable. Oh well. Nothing in these. All right, what I want to try and do here is get this, just kind of drag it off the edge without rolling the car. If I use, you can use planks like stabilizing connectors. They like connect, they, they attach stuff to stuff. So if I attach it down properly, then I might be able to use the crane to drag it away without causing too many problems. Oh, ah, uh, hmm. Let me get rid of this first. Oh, it's actually too heavy for me to carry. And now I'm stuck in it. Not a lot of people get stuck in downed trees. I don't even know if I need to get rid of this, actually. It probably isn't in the way of anything. Yeah, there's no more cars over there. There's this one, which I might want to just drive around the corner, but probably not, since the smartest thing to do with that is going to be to ramp up off of here, I think. Yeah, that one's not going anywhere. Okay, so this one I can't reposition. <laughs> This one I can reposition, this one I can... I can't reposition, this one I can't reposition, and neither these two. So, I think I'm gonna have to... If I, if I drive that one to here, then I can grab a backup car, drive to here, grab this one, drive to here, grab backup car... Bomb all the way off of here, go to this one, drive that one to the exit, grab a backup car, Drive through here, grab... No, wait, this one will be repositioned. So then drive to this one, grab this one, get that to the exit, and then these two will be at the exit already. Okay, that should work. It's going to be tight. It's not going to be easy, but I should be able to do it. Can I move this by hand? Oh, 
No. His mighty upper body strength isn't quite that mighty. I do want to get this tree out of the way, though. It bothers me. He does it. Well, at least I was correct about the viability of this plan. Am I streaming? Oh, I am. Okay, good. I was worried for a second. But I had forgotten to click start stream. My fears were unfounded. Looks well, like this guy's helipad will be when I'm done with it. Easy does it. Okay, that's not quite what I want to grab. There we go. Yeah, this is looking promising. Just need to knock these vain chrysanthemum bushes out of the way. Try planting native plants, you asshole. Wait, this is in Scandinavia. Chrysanthemums might be native. I can just get this onto the road. It would be great. Uh oh, I've made it a convertible. To quote the character Wolverine from the iconic children's 90s X-Men TV cartoon, Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. Nice, now it's uh, like one of those topless Lincoln Town cars. Such as you may be famili familiar with from the assassination of President Kennedy. This thing's way easier to move like this. I really think about the tensile issues. Let go of me, car! Oh Christ. Alright. If I can line this up right, I'll be able to get it to the exit incredibly quickly. I can just, like, drive it straight off of its launch pad and into the exit. And that will require me to get it through here first. Which will also require me to get rid of some of this debris, good lord. Incredible upper body strength, as always. Which I suppose behooves a hand demolitionist or whatever you want to... Oh look, it broke! Interesting. Was that from the tensile strength, or did it break on this? If you hold an item, you can click to throw it, but I am honestly a lot more fond of just using the physics engine to yeet things. It's also kind of more precise sometimes.
They need bigger counterweights on the backs of these things. It's an industrial crane. It should be able to lift a bit more easily. In real life, they have gigantic concrete uh, counterweights on the back of them. Immensely heavy, many tons. the best possible position. I could make it slightly better, but I can just reverse that straight in. Hi, Alice. I hope you enjoy tearing down in Tear Down, the game about tearing down. Alright, that's one setup. I'm gonna go take this and go get the next option. I should save first, because otherwise there'll be problems. Right, so... First car successfully repositioned. Second car about to also reposition. Once those two are lined up, it's going to be a matter of prepping to get one, two, three, and four cars to the exit. Maybe it would be smarter to start with the further away ones, actually. Actually, shit, yeah, if I start with that one, then I don't have to travel all this fucking way. Uh, Kalmoji staring face. Alright. Windmilling furiously. Let's see if we can. There we go. Now, with a bit of luck, I should be able to fix these two together with my new item, the cable. Which is unfamiliar to me. That's going to dig in though. I might get rid of that trailer hitch so it doesn't cause problems. Now, with a bit of luck, I should be able to just drag this whole situation. Oh, I want to get rid of that. That's no good. Right. Back to dragging this whole situation. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Once again, upper body strength carries the day. There's a lot of effective ways of breaking trees in this, but I'm very fond of that one. They remind me of the styrofoam trees, or whatever it is the, the hell they're made from, that people use to make uh, like model railway scenery. Anyway, that should... Oh, actually, huh. These are going to cause problems, aren't they? Alright, might be a bit better. Right. easier just to burn this down actually now that I didn't think I would need to get rid of all of it but if you need to get rid of all of a tree the best thing to do is set it on fire and let nature take its course oh seaweed really I always wondered what it was made from especially after I got into making tabletop min uh, painting tabletop miniatures because I wanted to make some terrain and stuff like that and I've always wondered what they're like the oh shit well, perhaps I should watch what I'm doing. Also, as always, let me know if I need to sort some kind of volume problem out. Or if we are in fact all good. 
I'm just gonna light these bitches on fire. And allow the problem to sort itself. Mm, well, I did notice that you were yelling at me the entire time, but I was going to be polite and not mention it. I thought I was going to skid upright for a second. That would have been extremely cool. Oh, well. What if, given that this thing is quite explosive... I drag this forwards thusly and I connect them up like that oh but I need to lift the tail end of this thing which means I should try and put this in front instead I guess will it reach that's the real question Looks good. Alright, looks extremely good. This is promising. Think smarter, not harder. I have no idea if that attached correctly. It's just turning into spaghetti. This tree gets to live. That way you can carry a message to all of the other trees that I'm not fucking around. This seems like a good setup. As long as that jingly jangly motherfucker doesn't catch on anything, we're golden. I can see him thinking about it. I can see him thinking about that corner and thinking, what if I caught? Oh, motherfucker, what happened there? Why did that tear? I should have quick saved after all of my careful setting up. Okay, new plan. I'm going to use planks instead. I can trust planks. Planks always have my best interests at heart. Cables are new. Cables are uh, untrustworthy. Cables are clearly some kind of plant. From the authorities and the powers that be. Double agents. Or agents provocateur. Whose whole goal is to cause me to fuck up my plans. They say it's an autism thing, that you can't trust new things, you can only trust old things because you, you know that they work. And it, uh, let's see. He's on the fire, alright, yeah that looks good, right. Let's try that again. Carefully wheel this around in front. And then plank them together. Alright, that should be a bit safer. Oh, 
Alice, is there a reason that you're perma caps today, or are you just being playful? Are you feeling in a particularly caps locky mood? That's working a bit better, although I have once again forgotten about this thing. I can't believe you're uh, playing a video game at the same time as you're watching my stream. Am I not as entertaining as a video game? Don't worry, I understand. What are you playing? I can't think of any games that use caps lock. Is that any good? I thought about it a couple times, but I've never played it. You know you can just play Dwarf Fortress, right? That's something that you have the power to do. Mm, I think this is dumb. I think lining up here is a mistake. Now I can't get the other car in. Speaking of base building fanaticism, I've actually been playing... Uh, God, what is it called? Like, Raft, or... I think it's called Raft. And it's like a, a game about being in the ocean and uh, building a raft. Which I found very fun. Okay, so that's those two lined up. So that is this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'll take this one first. So let's see if we can find a route. That uh, makes sense. Pickup truck, that's probably useful. They're nice weighty cars, I don't want to have to worry about handling too much. Hell yeah, Tokyo Drift it. Okay, that works actually. <laughs> Alright, well that's basically a plan already. This one seems- I found- I had a lot of difficulty with this one. This was the last mission I ever played, last time I was playing this game, and I got stuck. But it seems to be working eminently well. I'm gonna put this out of the way in case I need it. And that I can just back over the line, that I can just back over the line if I remember to smash these. I want in here? Nope, but I can make a nice through route here. I mean, I feel like tax return would be a good... It'd be a very Tumblr name for a cat, if you know what I mean.
Not my finest work, but I'll take it. It's kind of funny that as I've gained more tools, I've stopped using the blowtorch as a cutting tool, and I've started using it primarily for... Uh, Whatever you would call this. Arson, I guess? Targeted arson? Specific, careful arson? Hmm, that's not heavy enough. I need something more smashy. This is also less effective than I thought it would be. What will fuck up a window good? This will. Too heavy. Can't throw it right. Alright, how about you? That's a bit more like it. No good at all. The fire's going up instead of sideways. Well, I wanted to get rid of this, and that's uh, enough, I suppose. He only rises if you're not paying attention. Like, if I were he, I simply would not rise. What's that attached to? Oh, there it is. Your constant all caps and fractured communication is giving you very Homestuck vibes, by the way. Whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, I will leave to the reader to decide. Alright, let's do a quick test here. Alright, well that <laughs> worked very well, okay. Something tells me this is going to be easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> well, I suppose that depends. Are you more of a car cat or are you more of a Kanaya? Second prize in car polishing competition. He's so proud of his participation trophies. What a wanker. Let's see if I can get these down uh, nice and safely. Okay, that looks good as well. I'll just have to knock a hole in this wall with my patented bomb bombs. That, honestly, that doesn't even need to be taller. I think I might leave that as it is. It's kind of aesthetic. Exactly the right letter slot size for this vehicle. I thought your name was Alice. How are you named after Kanea? Also, I didn't know you cosplayed. I thought you, like, dressed as a shiny knight and stuff, but I didn't know you cosplayed. You should send me your cosplay Kanea pics, because that sounds cool to see. And I want to know if you're any good at it. Okay, that works as well. Alright, that leaves two... Oh, so like, 
10 fucking years ago. Okay, fair enough. I can understand if you don't want to share pictures from 10 years ago. Alright, so I drive that one straight up here. Then I just, then I grab another car and I drive this way. That's what I need to do. Might actually be easier if I take that outside the gate. Oh, of course you were. All Homestuck cosplayers were dating one another in manners according to the Homestucks that they cosplayed. This is just an immutable law of nature, one which I observed from afar. Huh, these don't burn. See, that sounds cute. Why didn't it work out? Alright, I can just jump straight into this. Let's have a quick save so we can test run. Yeah, I am familiar with that, unfortunately. It is kind of strange how people can have completely opposite flavours of autism. If she lived in Canada, how are you cosplaying together? Were the Homestuck cosplay events that international, or was it like a long distance cosplay? Alright, so I can just bomb this straight over here. Hop out, hop into that one. And then drive right back. I think I'm going to get a good time on this one, something which is normal to want and possible to achieve. That looks promising. Okay, I need to go smash the thing. Then I think I'm actually ready to give this a go. I can't believe that this is this easy. Did they change it? Because the last time I was streaming this, it took me like two hours to beat this level. It took me so much effort, it was very difficult. Or at least I think it was. Maybe I'm thinking of a different level. That does sound like something I would do. What with my extensive brain problems and all. Go, be free, join your brothers in the last resting place of all precious pieces of waste metal. My software issues? Did I not say software issues? It can be so confusing, you know, when you have to translate everything for the human milieu, you find yourself saying medical issues or brain problems when what you actually mean is hardware situation or burnt out CPU. I have kind of been forgetting to keep up with the old uh, I'm uh, an artificial intelligence that runs a logistical satellite and plays games in its spare time recently. It's unfortunate, because I always- I really like that framing. But I've just been full of human brain lately. Uh oh. <laughs> Interesting. I've identified a problem with this plan. One which I did not anticipate and did not come up during testing.
Throw the furniture into the pool. That's the way to prove you're cool. Make a rich guy fish out his stuff. That's the way you prove your stuff. For you see, between you and me, I would throw all of his things right into the sea. Okay, why did I come back here? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Now we should be alright. I know I said I wasn't going to do a ton of vandalism on this guy's house this time. Um, I'm doing way less than I've done in the past, but you know what? A little bit of vandalism is still fun. If you think about it, I'm actually a very important part of the local economy. If I wasn't constantly wrecking this guy's shit, like half of the uh, building contractors and furniture salespeople in the entire district would go out of business almost instantaneously, and that would be completely unacceptable. Four, five, six. I'm definitely going to need a backup car to bring me through here. That's okay, I can just line up a few cars. Save me ten seconds each way. Because if I can do that, then I can definitely manage all of this, I think. I've nearly got enough time to do this this time, and that's without the backup cars. How do they not catch me? The fucking Rosas are here already. Because I need to get into that and then get out. Hi, Art. I loved the first chunk of Homestuck and then I fell off of it and then I didn't come back for a few years. And then it was my favourite thing and became my whole personality for a while back in the day. Um... I think it's still worth a read. Every couple of years I reread the whole thing, but it doesn't have quite the same spark when you're when you're reading it all finished. Um, a lot of the kind of like genius methods by which the medium was played with don't really work retrospectively. Um, you know, fucking about with like changing, you know, an event changing the past and then actually changing the previous strips to reflect it, that kind of thing. Okay, where, uh, does he even have any more cars on this mission? Is that the limiting factor? Oh, there's a couple over there. Okay, I can grab those. But also there was just the fact that you were following a... Uh, very innovative and very teen drama e teen drama that was also had wild ideas and cosmic nonsense and all of this stuff going on over the course of like a decade so it just became a part of you all right looks like we've got a white van and that car there as well beats walking Although, of course, going back to Homestuck today, you do kind of have to be aware that it's very, you know, very 2009 in some of its attitudes. There's a lot of words that we don't really accept nowadays going on. Um, but I do think it's valid to call it, like, a very innovative and, like... There have been times I called it a work of genius. I don't know if I would go that far today, but it definitely has something very unique and powerful to it. Let's see if I can get this white van through here. Hell yeah!
Alright, I'm going to park this one here, I think. I should be able to just drive straight forwards and get out. Okay. Okay, so I should do the longest two first, I think. I want another car, though. So if I grab that brown car and then line it up, I can drive that through the other thing. Oh, that's because I'm tapping into your Wi-Fi to uh, boost my stream, obviously. Sorry, you, you should have checked the waiver uh, that you have to sign when you start watching my channel. Let the, let the buyer beware, I guess. Caveat emptor, bitches. Caveat on my emptor till she beware. That's nothing. That's... I don't even know what that is. Alright, that looks good. So if I drive that straight forwards through here, how do I get back to this car? I will, of course, explode the wall. That'll work. I'll have to be careful, though. If I explode the wall too good, I will accidentally free the car from its mortal coil. By which I mean... The burglar alarm. Great, that means I can just dive straight through the hole in the wall. And get to revving. Okay, time to try this again. Excuse me for sneezing. Terrible dust up here on my space station. It, uh, it clogs all of my fan filters. If I smash more of this wall and line this car up better, that will save me a few seconds as well. Knock some of these walls out in advance too. I'm not going to make it. It's a shame I can't turn this one around to face the other way. Pretty sure this is faster than walking. Is there any way I can save a few more seconds? I think taking this thing first is definitely the right idea. The difficulty is not ramping it too hard. I'm going to see if I can possibly point this guy around the other way without tearing that extremely, extremely fragile cord. Can I get this stuff out of the way? Can I do it with this? Worth a try. Actually, maybe if I... Okay, well that's not going to work. But if I just turn right, that might work a bit better. Okay, let me try this. Let me try this again. a hole in that wall as well actually and get through here a bit faster. Oh 
not convinced that's faster than walking. I'm still going to be like 10 seconds too late. Even if I didn't smack into a rock. Hmm. I wonder if there's something obvious I'm missing. Probably shave a bit of distance off here. If I drive this car, yeah, that that would save a bit. If I line this car up like this, and I aim between. Oh dear, that's no good. Right, if I aim that between there, it should save me a few seconds. Okay. Let's try it again. Sure if it, I'm not sure if it makes a difference which one I do first other than this one because it saves me having to walk back or drive back all this way. So I'm pretty sure this is the one I should do first because it's so far. Maybe there's a better vehicle hidden somewhere I could use to go faster. Oh, that cost me a couple seconds. Stuck on the explodey thing. Yeah, so that's not faster so far, but I did get stuck on some things. I think as a proof of concept we're there. Might be down to execution and skill issues now. if there was a way to make those two both go into the thing at the same time. I don't think that's going to be possible though. That's about the same time I think. Yeah, I'm like two seconds faster that time, which isn't enough for this still. Hmm, problem. How am I gonna do this? I wonder if there's, is there just some basic obvious trick that I'm missing? I don't think any of these things can be made more mobile. Are there better cars I could be using? Probably not. 
Yeah, his race cars are gone. Oh, hello. Hello, new friend. Welcome to chat, first time chatter, uh, Mish Easy 2000. I have currently been bashing my head against the wall of this one mission in Teardown, a game about tearing things down. I can almost steal all the cars. I only, I only need to steal three of six, but I really want to get all of them. Oh, hey, a flatbed. Can I incorporate this flatbed truck into my plan in some way? Oh, shit. If I... I really don't want to start over. But if I position that flatbed truck under this truck, I could drop that truck onto the flatbed and then escape with... Escape with it on the flatbed instead of all of this fucking around that I'm doing, trying to get everything lined up right. Hmm. Oh, hang on, there's another car, I think? Yeah, let's see if that's a better car for moving between the final two points. Uh, this is not my world. This is a, uh... This is a voxel-based demolition game called Teardown, about smashing stuff. Um, or stealing things, in this case. Uh, this is part of the main campaign, which I've been playing my way through bit by bit. This is, I think, roughly the midpoint of the campaign, although I'm not sure. This thing drives a bit better than the uh, beat-up old coupe or whatever that red thing is. Might be worth a try. Let's see if I can do that. Actually, this yellow one's awful. Let's get that out of the way. Line up the red one instead of the yellow one. That might save me a few seconds. I only need to find about 10 seconds in order to be able to make this time trial. Like a glove. Holy shit, that was great. Okay. Alright, that is lined up nicely. Just need to line up the mini. Which is terrible off-road, but hopefully won't matter too much. I need to get rid of this as well. Alright, that looks promising. Let's give this a try. Oh, he's got a satellite on his roof now. See if I can cause him some satellite problems. Because vandalism is always its own reward. Although I may have made more problems for myself by getting debris in the way. I can understand why they didn't add one, but this game really needs a sprint button. It's so uncomfortable to walk at the same speed forever in a game. <laughs> I always feel like I should be able to go a little bit faster if I want to. Alright, time to see if I can actually steal all these fucking cars. Well, not like that, obviously. As car stealing goes, ramping it into your rival's villa and flipping it is radical but uh, ineffectual. I'm like several seconds behind my best time already. That's not good. That's also not good that I didn't land that in the thingamajig. was close. <laughs> I nearly ended the mission early. Um, okay. Just need to keep going until it stops being a skill issue, I guess. Oh, now that was a perfect ramp. That was ideal. I need to bring that energy into the next few.
Oh, that's a whole, like, seven seconds over my last time. This mini might be rubbish, though. But yeah, this is no good. <laughs> that has taken me twice as long to travel this distance. Yeah, okay. Alright, what did I do different? I moved the car. Maybe if I... Oh, and thanks for the follow, Mish Easy, by the way. Um, right, if I... Okay... I'm running, I'm running out of new cars to try. The truck I could put in position and use that, but... Very slow acceleration. I think, yeah, maybe if I just get rid of... Maybe if I use the van on the grass because it's got nice weight and traction. And I'll use the Mini to reach the sports car. Because it's bad at moving. Much like me. Alright. See if that works better with the better momentum and traction. Maybe I should smash this whole wall apart. Well, maybe I should try and reposition... No, I'll, sm I'll set off the alarm if I do that. I'm also going to set this guy's topiary on fire, because, like... Oh. It doesn't have any wood in it, so it won't ignite. Oh, well. Not all vandalism can work. It's tragic, but such is life. Quick save again. Let's go. Let's see if I can get that amazing launch again. Uh, not quite as good, but acceptable. Yeah, that's like four or five seconds low. The van is very slow. Might not be the solution I'm looking for. But I'm running out of ideas. If I can't pull this off, I might accept it as five out of six and then go back in and then use the plan of using the flatbed truck to steal this one. But only if I can't make this work. Less than ideal. Yeah, a couple seconds behind already. Maybe if I have the mini on the pavement already, I'll be able to save a second. Failing from the Cadillac early saves me a couple seconds, but it still isn't enough. <sighs> what if I start with the 4x4? Four four? Drive it around and through here like that. Then drive this one straight off the back of here to grab that one. Probably not going to work. 
I really need a 4x4 to get across here, but I don't have one. I can think of one other place to look for a car. That I haven't thought to check. If there's a decent car in this garage over here, then maybe I can do this. Otherwise it's starting to look like resets. No, of course not. Empty. Why would Gordon Wu make it easy for me, the bastard? Do you have to light on up there? World's dirtiest bedroom as always. He has left a light on the bastard. Sledgehammer is what I think of that. I still think there's something hidden up here, but I can't be bothered to find secrets right now. Got cars to fail to steal. Well, another spectacular failure. Maybe it would actually be better to just drive this one straight instead of... Instead of trying to turn, what if I just go straight ahead? Through here. Will that save me time? No, I'm already behind. There must be an answer. There must be a way. The loss of momentum in landing properly is definitely a big part of my problem here. I suppose I could smash that topiary, but that only saved me a second. Whoopsie daisy. It's really easy to accidentally leave in the van. <laughs> in the truck. cost me like two seconds bailing early. The problem with destroying the whole house and then driving straight through is one, I have limited material, uh, limited supplies with which to destroy it. And two, um, it leaves rubble and debris which will be hard to drive over. Yeah. So for example, if I show you If I smash this, there's still stuff. Because this is a... Uh, Teardown has, like, simulated physics, so materials have different densities. Um, so my hammer can smash plaster and wood and things like that, but it can't smash the stone wall. My shotgun can smash the stone wall, but it can't smash, like, bigger rocks. Um, and I only have a handful of things like this. Which are quite effective. And you can't uh, change elevations either, so I have to get this one up the ramp if I want to steal it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to save. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to give this one more try, and if I can't make it out with all, all six... Yeah, apparently there's loads more stuff to unlock later. Like, I know this game looks like a creator game like Minecraft, but it's a lot more like uh, an immersive sim like uh, Deus Ex or um, Dishonored or a game like that. You're observing a space and planning your way through it with the tools at your disposal. Um, there's even a really- it's- it's half that and it's half speedrunning because you kind of build yourself a route to speedrun through the level. You can even write whatever you like wherever you like. 
such as the X-Men, everybody's favorite comic book, uh, or terrible um, vandalisms such as I've committed across various parts of this man's house with my trusty spray can. Wait, I quick saved in a stupid place, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did quick saved in a stupid place. But yeah, so there's the sledgehammer, which is your starter thing. You can smash some materials. There's the spray can that you can use to leave yourself messages, which is really useful when you're planning a complicated route, which is actually necessary on some levels. You have to like put arrows to remind you which way you need to run. Extinguisher to put out fires. Blowtorch, which is very good at removing specific bits. Um, plank, which you can use to attach objects to one another. Uh, cable, which you can use to attach objects to one another in a sort of a wiggly fashion. Um, it's like a rope. Shotgun, big smash. Gun, small smash. Pipe bomb. I don't really have a use for pipe bombs yet. They're very hard to use effectively. And big bombs, which... Bomb big. Anyway, okay, let's see if I can actually escape with this man's fucking cars. Okay. I'm starting to think I should grab that red one before the green one. It definitely saves a couple seconds. Oh, fuck. I did it again. That's going to get on my nerves. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take the L and go with the three necessary cars and two bonus cars and then I will try this again. I'm gonna say next stream, but if I wait until next stream I'll forget, so Oh, okay, I guess I'll have to open this door like a like a peasant. Nobody opens doors, it's all about smashing them. Single use doors, that's the next big Which truck? What truck should I move? Help me, Alice. Because this 4x4 is stuck to the wall here. So I can't move that one at all. This one is attached to the ceiling. Oh, that truck? You can't move that truck. Um, that is the, the, the end get the end level thingy. Um, you, you can't... If you interact with it at all, you just drive away and leave. Oh, now that, that was a good one. That is what I've been trying to do this entire time with my fucking launches. That was pretty much the perfect opener. That's as good as it's going to get. So if I can't do it on this one, my plan is flawed. Oh, fuck. Cost me a second. Well, a couple seconds. That cost me a second as well, but I'm still way ahead of my last couple of attempts. 14 seconds isn't going to be enough. I lost too many when I bumped into that thing. Alright, it's not happening. Can't be done like this, it can't. Okay, right, I will steal the f five cars and then leave. Not quite as good of a launch there, but... Nearly. Get the fucking way. Well, that could have gone worse. I did not expect the race car to have enough density to smash through the wall. It just made an exact letterbox its own size and left. Alright, that's five. I will accept it and leave.
All right, I'm going to come back for the in-between mission stuff because I want to have another try at that one and do it properly. So if I go back to Villa Gordon, insurance fraud. Because I have a plan that might make it possible. Although, to be honest, when I was reaching it, I was reaching it with like five seconds to spare, which isn't enough time, is it? There must, there must be a way to do this. The only thing I can put on the flatbed is that truck, so that would save me, definitely save me several seconds. Because I wouldn't have to rotate the car around. If I do that, I can just leave. That one and that one I can reposition to be right beside the exit. That one I can drive straight in. That one I can drive straight in. That one I have to ramp. What are people doing that I'm not doing? Are they just... Are they actually completely destroying one of these buildings? That's not possible. Surely not. I'm going to come back to this one. I've accepted it. It's weird that there's no way to go back to your lair uh, without going back to the main menu. All right, let's move on to the next one. Hi, I just got this awesome idea for humiliating Gordon. You know that ridiculous undersized racetrack he keeps in his backyard to pretend he's a race driver? Wouldn't it be funny if he came home to a new track, r track record on the display? You a decent driver by any chance? By the way, those paintings you helped me with earlier, they didn't make it through the thunderstorm. Burned up every single one. What are the odds? My only comfort is that at least Gordon doesn't have them either. Yeah, that's a reference to the fact we, we were hired to steal the paintings back again during the thunderstorm. So he doesn't know. I'm probably bad. I'm, qu I'm quite bad at driving games. I'm... It's pretty much the only genre of game that I don't play a lot, um, and it's because I am bad at them. Strategy, FPS, immersive sim, um, RPGs, action games, point-and-click adventures, pretty much everything I play, except racing games. There is something in my brain that just doesn't work with racing games. I've tried so many times. Even even like relatively beginner ones that are supposed to be friendly to people who aren't very good at racing games. I just... something in my brain does not work with them. Even the like arcadey ones, right? 30 seconds is the track record. Uh, I have to beat it in 30 seconds with 25 and 20 for the bonus objectives. As far as I know, you only get money for the loot you find in levels. You don't get money for completing bonus objectives. So I don't actually have an incentive to try and do this properly. I'm just going to see what I can do. With this extremely lightly framed jeep. I'm not even sure how you start the track timer. Do, 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 do. Be nice if it gave you a UI for how you were doing on timing. This thing definitely does not have the acceleration to make a good time. In fact, what happens? Oh, I guess I have to go through every gate, right? Because if I don't. If I don't pass under the gate, will it fail me? Can I destroy some of the gates and save time that way? That didn't give me a time. Oh, I guess I have to wait for it to be like, get ready, go, maybe? I'm not even sure how you start this mission. Oh, that's... Got zero traction. Get ready... Oh, I see how it is. Tokyo Drift, you 4x4. Four four. That's... That's not happening. <laughs> I 
could try the lawnmower. Oh, that's not a lawnmower. That's a uh, forklift. That's a tree fucker. Oh, my time's still ticking for the last time trial. Okay, so it definitely knows when I go through them. Which means if I don't go through one, it won't finish. Which means I can't just cut across the green there. <laughs> like it's Mario Kart. Woo, 66. That's a great time, right? Alright, let's try this again. Admittedly, it is a lot easier to do a racing game with something other than Waz than a mouse. I have a keypad, I have a gamepad plugged in, but I don't know if it actually, uh... Tell you what, if you use this one, that might actually be, this might actually be possible. That was almost time. Let's give that another go. I should at least be able to get the, you know, bronze completion, if nothing else. Good moment to scratch my nose, right when the race is starting. Shit. Ah, <laughs> tell you what, actually, yeah. If I smash some of these out of the way, I can at least save time here. Avoid going around that curve. Maybe the trick is to identify which... which barriers you can remove, and they're f fucking... Oh, God damn it! Which barriers you can remove, and therefore... trim down a few seconds. I don't know what it is in my brain that doesn't make that let, that means I can't do racing games. Like I will happily pick up new genres, you know, especially hard ones. Like I'd never played anything like Dark Souls before I played Dark Souls, and then like you know I play every Dark Souls and Sekiro and all of the other hard twitchy games there are out there. And yet a racing game, something in my brain's not clicking. I can just about play Mario Kart, but I'm bad at it. But if it's not a kart racer, I can't even manage that. Twenty-eight, eighteen. I'll take it. How do I? I guess I just leave. You know, I keep breaking into this guy's house at night, right? And he's never here. Is this whole thing just a, like a trophy for him? Does he even live here? Or is it just a building that he keeps his horrible relics in? What's the range on this? I've never checked. Hmm. I guess it's not that big. If I kept bashing my head against that, I could maybe hit the silver time. But I'm not going to be bothered because I don't enjoy racing. Which is funny because first person platforming games I really love. Mirror's Edge is one of my favorite games of all time. Ballistic. They gave me a missile launcher, holy shit. I should not be, tr oh, I should not be trusted with this. Oh boy, oh boy. Interesting. Is there a bunker? I, I can't believe I never found this before. I guess this is where he keeps his insane gun collection. Is there like a secret passage through here? Because I know there's a, some kind of secret hidden in the, in the secret base. Yeah, 
Yeah, in fact, I'm going to mention again, because even though only two people are watching, uh, I, I say again, my once per stream self-plug, I have a uh, YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays. I'm currently on a bit of a, hi of a hiatus, but I actually do have some pretty good Let's Plays that I've posted over the years. So you should go check those out if you're watching this and you don't know about that or haven't done so already. Um, also, I stream on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays at 7 o'clock UK time. And uh, that's my regular schedule. And I occasionally archive those streams to my YouTube channel. And in addition, thank you to my Patreon patrons. And also... Uh, I have a Discord where I do stream announcements and things, and that's all of the information that I need to convey right now. However, as a little bonus, I'll also mention that when I hit 100 followers on Twitch, I'm going to do a full game playthrough, single session marathon of Mirror's Edge. So, look forward to that, I guess. Right, back to this. Insurance papers. The claims from Gordon keep coming in. I'm not new to this game, and I suspect he's trying to pull a trick on us. I think the best solution would be if he took all of his problems elsewhere. If I could just get rid of his insurance papers, poof. Like that, he'd be gone. He keeps the papers in one of his safes. Top of the line Quillez safes. Very sturdy and virtually unbreakable. Trust me, he bought them on our recommendation. But they have one weakness, and they're not waterproof. Go to Gordon's place and dump his safes in the water. That should smudge the papers. Just one thing you should be aware of. The safes are equipped with moisture sensor alarms that will trigger when wet. Ah, moisture alarms is a new one. I haven't seen that before. Right, so presumably if I attempt to move the safes through open space, they will trigger, right, because of the moisture alarm. So I have to find that one, that one, and that one. These two, I might, I can probably dump in the swimming pool most easily. That one in the water sea, that one in the sea, that one in the other swimming pool, I guess. The issue is going to be time getting between all of these places and moving the safes around without getting the rain on them. I should check and make sure that that's actually how that mechanic works first, though. Because it's entirely possible that it won't be a rain-triggering situation at all. But this reminds me of the mission where fire alarms suddenly mattered, so... Excuse me if I don't trust like that. Oh, wait, that was downstairs. Whoops. I cannot be bothered. We're going all of the way around. Okay. Where's this safe? I thought it was here. Is it on the third floor? Oh, hey, what's going to happen when it... I guess that's what's going to happen. Elevator physics are fun, generally speaking, in video games. Aha, okay. Alright, I can move them around then. Big and heavy though, so I'll need something. I should be able to use these bridges, so if I can get some kind of a truck or something, I can get them both into it and reposition them that way. This one's going to be really tough. They're so heavy. Alright, I can move them with the crane. What else have we got to work with? We've got a truck. So if I can load these two into the truck, that would be useful. There's one there. I don't know what we have to work with. Flatbed tr Whoopsie daisy. Flatbed truck there. 
a digger, a, oh a dump truck, dump trucks are useful. Not much to work with over here, or over here. I suppose, now that I've got, now that I've got the wires tool, maybe I can attach safes to cars and drag them around that way. Am I? Okay, I'm not. If I can stand directly underneath and throw bombs up, I might be able to make the right hole that I need. Let's try. How's that safe? I guess it's less of a safe now and a bit more of a dangerous. Oh, uh, hmm. Ooh. I've never thought to check the elevator shaft before. I should have realised that's where he would hide his ill-gotten gains. Is it to the ground floor? No, it doesn't, because I put my holes in the wrong place like an idiot. Oh, wait a second. There's a whole interstitial level. Holy shit, I had no idea that was there. The number of times I've exploded this man's mansion and I never realised that he had a... Whatever you would call that, like a... a engineering space. Oh, that's... okay, that's the open air. Right, okay. Oh, that means... that means I might be able to drop the safe out of there directly into the... into the bed of, like, a flatbed truck or something. Interesting. Interesting. Right, that's still not in the rain, so it hasn't triggered, which means that if I park under here, that plan should work. Okay, so that one, I can drop directly into the bottom of a truck. What about this one? That is a whole safe. Stealing whole entire safes is a thing we've been doing since, like, the first couple missions of this game. Uh, but these are new ones that have moisture sensors. I need to put them in the sea, but without... Triggering. Oh, this this one's small enough for me to move. Okay, that's very promising. That means that I can put this into a pickup truck by myself, which means I can carry it over here and put it in the pickup truck with that one. Okay, so that's two. That's two sorted. All right, I've got a plan for them. Which means I need to find plans for the rest of these, which means I need to check out the situation. Flame grilled Whopper flavored Doritos by Burger King. Interesting. My uh, my flatmate has interrupted the stream to bring me flame grilled Whopper flavor Doritos, courtesy of Burger King International. Let's get some real good foley on this. Let's <laughs> let's line this up. Okay. Uh, okay so James over in the uh, over in the recording booth. You ready for this? Great. Okay. Oh, the big microphone. Sure. Okay. All right, how are we feeling about that one, chap? <laughs> I will tell my flatmate that you said that. I wonder if it would be possible to... Oh, they're horrible. Ugh. 
really bad Dorito. Oh, I don't like that at all. It got very strong pickle flavour. Which I'm not fond of. Right, if I if I construct a roof out of planks, can I successfully keep the rain off a safe? Is this now Minecraft? Is that what's happening here? It looks like it's keeping some of the rain off. Well, you can build one thing and one thing only. It's planks and you're limited by how many points you put into upgrading them. Let's see if I can get this under here and then see what happens. Uh, I don't use them very often. They're mostly useful for gluing two objects together so that you can move them both. Um, or for climbing like surfaces when you get stuck and you need to reach a different place um i think that they're a good add uh, they're a good addition to the the whole situation i think they work very well let's see if we can get that on there that looks good and then i will use a couple of these to sort of bolt it into position all right time for a test drive Oh, who's a fucking genius? Oh my god. I love being clever. Okay, fan-fucking-tastic. Right, okay. I can drop that one into a thing. I can pick this one up and move it, so I might put it on the back of this same flatbed. Time to check out these two and see if they're also movable, because if they are also movable, I can just drive around putting all of these fuckers on, flat, on the flatbed and then drive the flatbed into the sea. I don't even have to go for my stylish plan that I was going to come up with of shoving them one by one into the swimming pool, although now I'm kind of tempted. In fact, maybe I'll still do that. I'll reposition them with the flatbed and then push them one by one into the, uh, into the swimming pool. Alright, this one... Alright, I can smash the floor out of that, which means I can transport that one very easily as well. If I drop it into that dump truck, then I can put a roof over it. That one next. This is a very pleasant level of rain. It's been raining like this outside my house all day today, and I've been really enjoying it. I, I love the rain. Rainy weather is my favorite. We actually had a huge thunderstorm yesterday. About eight, eight lightning strikes within a couple miles. It was very satisfying. Aha. All right, this one doesn't have any, this one doesn't have much clever stuff to do, but what I can do is just Bring it over here and then put it straight out the window. So that might be my end state. So if I put them all by if I this one, this one, and this one, I can line up by the swimming pool if I want. And then just shove them in. Boop, boop, boop. Or I could bring them all over all over here and shove them out the window one by one. Boop, boop, boop. Just need to check out the situation for that one now. And then the timing issue will, of course, be the uh, my ability to uh, actually get to the escape zone. Although I could just take the coast. If I drive leisurely around here like that, I should be able to do that really quickly. Really good, really good glass breaking foley in this, I think. Okay, that's the same situation again. I think I will carefully bring my flatbed around and pick that one up. I think I'm going to go gather them all up um, with the flatbed and then 
uh, carefully shove them all in the bin. I think the only one big enough that I have to drop it instead of move it is the one at the far end. Oh, if I want to blow that out, I should do it from the other side. Oh, look! <laughs> I forgot I manhandled that up on top of this car earlier. Oopsie daisy. Oh, the green sports car! This is where he's moved it to. That one's really nice. Right, jam a bomb on this wall. Hope it doesn't... Damage the truck on the other side, get some of this crap out of the way. I should have thrown this out of the way first, that would have been smart. Apparently you don't get a broom tool until really late in the game, which is a shame, because you do have to move a lot of fucking rubble around. And that's pretty much what the broom was invented for. Invented by Sir James Broom. Uh in 1857, when he attempted to pick up an object twice. Alright, this looks good. Where's my f gun? Ah! Okay, there it is. Ah, got it. Fantastic. Come along, little safe. You'll be safe with me. He 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 he. Oh shit. Whoopsie daisy. But it's okay. Right, let's get that there. Yeah, this is the modernist McMansion once again. Okay, I'm gonna drop these two off and then come back, I think. Oh shit. Okay, well that didn't work. I think I have to take these one at a time if I'm going to do it like this. Um, the difficulty of squishing them all together is too high. But I've got a plan now. I've scoped out the area of every single one of these uh, unfortunates who are going to get thrown in the drink. Ooh! Even spicier, I think, instead of tossing them out the window one by one, I'm gonna pile- I'm gonna put them all on this square. And then, uh... Cut the square free from the foundation and drop them vertically into the water. I will do this as an act of uh, eco-sabotage in order to revenge myself upon a world that has done me economic wrongs.
This looks promising. This is going to be another mission status sick episode. Oh, it looks like only the back end. Interesting. I'll have to make sure they're all lined up at the back. That's fine, though. Although I suppose I could put them on the back row here and drop them if I have to. Right, so that's one ready. I'll make a quick save. Spicy little quick save. Bit too wet to be driving sports cars, I think. Not too wet to trim the bush trim the bushes with one though. If I back this up underneath, is it gonna... It's probably not gonna work, is it? It'll be too heavy. Or not too tall, rather. Or not, perhaps it will be fine. Alright, so if I drop it in here, then I can cut the ceiling out from above and use that to shield it from the rain, because I'm smart like that. Good. Might be a bit troublesome to fit the safe through there, but that's fine. It's promising regardless. Alright. Get in ye hole. Insufficient. There we go. Unfortunately, I want it to be on its side, but it's not working. The bed of this truck is not as deep as I thought it was. Yeah, that's... looking awkward. You know what I can do, actually, if I get it in there. I could drop the ceiling on it! Ah, yeah, that's way smarter. Back it up. Make a new door for myself, because I'm not made of time. That would be... Uh, Actually, that's not any of the trolls appearing in today's episode. Oh well. Okay. Weird. Oh shit, hang on. A radia, thank you, but uh, still very much troll not appearing in this episode. I hope I have enough ammunition to make this plan work. Boom. Fantastic. Who's a genius? It's me.
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who's a dumb piece of shit? It's me! Alright, okay. We can make this work. Slightly different plan. I think if I... Smash the floor out. And then back the truck up. And if I do it from this room, I'll be able to save a bit of time as well. Is this floor smashable? No. But... This floor... It's also not smashable. Okay. Still, if I if I destroy the floor completely, drop it into the truck, and then cut the ceiling away. You know, I've already forgotten why a radio was relevant, but then some people would argue that a radio is always relevant. Balls. Okay, I've lined that up badly, but that's okay. I can just move. That's how physics works. Alright, we're going for surgical precision this time, lads. Actually, I'm not sure that there's literally any lads who watch my show. Actually, no. There's definitely at least a couple, right? Do I know for sure that there are any dudes who watch my watch my channel? <laughs> I know there's I know there's dudes who watch my YouTube. Do I have an entirely non-masculine viewer base on Twitch? Inquiring minds want to know. Right. Okay. This should work a bit better. Let me get rid of that first, though. Well, I mean, a not insignificant pe number of my viewers are here because they're gay for my voice. It's very consistent. Oh, come on. to be non-binary and also a lesbian. I was a lesbian and then I was a non-binary lesbian and now I'm non-binary and also pansexual because you know what? Sometimes, on rare occasions, a dude is hot. That's not even my position really. I actually think that like, this was this weird revelation to me. I finally accepted that dudes can be hot sometimes and then suddenly I started seeing hot dudes on the internet all the time. Perhaps that realization was related. seeing hot dudes on the internet. Oh, I should have exploded this first. Still, hindsight is twenty twenty. Wow, what a mess. It's fine, it's just a little busted, it's still good. 
This is what people say about me when they try to diagnose me. Yeah, it's a little busted, but I guess it's still good. Construct some kind of scaffold here, I think. I for real cannot be bothered to walk that far. Just want to like fall at an angle. There we go. Okay, good. Then I can put this one here like that. Now we're thinking with roof beams. Like it's 1886. That looks. Uh, that's. Well, that's not quite what I was going for. I should probably just use the flatbed for everything, but you know, I don't want to. I want to try and mix it up. Is that going to give me enough coverage? Let's find out. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we might be onto a winner here, folks. Can't get up to good speeds though with that plank leaning out of the window. <laughs> I <coughs> Excuse me. Acting like an air brake. Roll on number three, I say. I'm going to see if I can do that with the dump truck again, because I want to get as much use out of each vehicle as I can, because there's such a limited resource. remember where this one was. Bedroom, ordinary size. Yeah, if I just drive in here, I think I'll be alright. Oh, these are affixed. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll have to go in this one instead. Oh, did you see that? The uh, concussive force of that explosion knocked this door shut. That's why I love this game. It's got those physical details that are really satisfying and to see and believable.
so we can't get that lying down flat. Lovely jubbly. I'm not even running low on planks yet, this is great. Like this is going to work, but I can't be sure. Let's see if it keeps the rain out. Ah, it does not. Maybe this is the scenario in which it would be appropriate to cut the roof out, actually. It's a big pane of glass that might work better. I've got room to make it work. Promising. On the other hand, if I drop glass, it will probably break, so let's see what we can do with some moulded concrete instead. Brilliant. Absolutely perfect. I am the- I am a fucking genius. I am the genius of larceny. I am the greatest thief who has ever lived. Lupin the third suck my fucking titties. This is absolutely brilliant. Right. Oh god, oh god, it didn't work. Oh fuck. Ah! Uh... Well, it nearly worked. <laughs> Could have been worse. All right, I know I know what to do this time. I f I needed to tidy up the exit a little bit better. If I do that, we'll be good. Also, if I make a three-point turn, by which I mean like a seven-point turn, I could go out facing forwards, which would probably be more effective. That's also worth doing. See if I can throw something up there to smash that bit of glass. There we go. Oh what? Oh shit, that's the roof. Right, of course. Okay. If it bounces off, it's just gonna set the alarm off. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure I can make this work. Oh! 
Maybe I'll just use a sofa. That's less cool, but probably more more easier to do. Credit to my little brother Dan, who struggled with some speech impediments when he was a kid for the phrase more easier, which has lived in my head ever since and I think is kind of cute. <coughs> right. Oh, dinner table, uh, coffee table even, actually, is probably even better. That looks almost made for it. That's perfect. There you go, once again, think, think smarter, not harder. <laughs> oh, fuck. Still, we can solve this. This is a this is a fixable problem. And we're going to fix it by fucking cutting down this tree. Who I now realize is not the tree at fault, which is this tree. This one unfortunately is collateral damage. <laughs> It'd probably be impossible to get one on top of this Range Rover, actually. That luggage rack looks sturdy. Is there something wider than that table? Probably not. But if I put that on lengthways, it'll work better. Okay, that's not ideal. That's probably fine. How sturdy is that looking? That needs a bit more. When you try and move house in Aberdeen, the lads who turn up have a truck like this and they strap the things on just like this too. Time for the old 17, 17 point move. 
extremely traditional piece of uh, driving skill where you use 17 turning points to get around a corner. Tell me about what happened when the Abaddonian mo moving lads enraged your mother. What did they do? I mean, minor damage to a 200-year-old mahogany sideboard is one of the most classic things for a certain kind of person to get mad about, so I guess I can see what's got, what's up with that. Oh hey look, I left a bit of my truck behind. <laughs> Well, see, that seems extremely, extremely minor. That's... I can't remember. Do we, do we, do we dislike your mother? Because that seems like a pretty minor thing to get pissed off about. That's three, baby. Alright, I can't be bothered to deal with this truck, so I'm going to get rid of it the old-fashioned way. Out of sight, out of mind. Right, that leaves three. One, two, three. I should be able... Oh, motherfucking... You know, I don't even need to fuck about with the flatbed. I've just realised. There was a way simpler way to deal with all of this, these problems. And that way simpler way to deal with all of these problems is called an enclosed 18-wheel lorry. Well, it's not an 18-wheeler, it's like a... 8-wheeler? I, I don't know truck terminology, I'll admit that now. Gun terminology I can do. Vehicle terminology I'm weak on. But look at this. Look at this fucking thing. This is... This is made to solve my problems. Bit flimsy, but, you know. Could have been using this the whole time. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, eight. Eight wheels. I, I, I see eight wheels here. Come on, you fucker, get up. There we go. Great. Fantastic. That's one. Add some stabilizing guy ropes. Good. That looks good. Okay. That's one. That'll be two. I'll go get that one next. I'll admit I'm a bit less au fait with lorry piloting. Okay, well that's uh, ruined that plan. Let's uh... The thing about stabilizing woman ropes is that um... Oh, that's all three. It's, these are still here. That's good. Still, this problem can be solved relatively easily. 
I'll put that one on the flatbed and move it in the flatbed and I'll put these two on board this truck. How was that? That was a perfect drive. I don't get that very often. Anyway, I'm going to try and finish this one up nice and quick. We are nearly done. A bit neater than last time too, which is always good. Alright, that looks fine actually. Let's see how we can do. lost a lot more of the lorry than I was expecting, but we got here in one piece and that's the important thing. Alright, that's full. <laughs> which leaves two more, both of which should be pretty quick. I'm just going to leave that truck there for now. Maybe I should try and use the big lorry to get this one. Um, I mean, the dump truck. I'm going to use the lorry to grab this one, though, because that's pretty easy to do from where I am. I'm a bit worried about the double safe getting into the big lorry, because uh, it's big enough to cause problems. knows what this is made from. I didn't know people made like plaster lorries. But big 18 wheelers like this were like uh, eight wheelers were supposed to be pretty sturdy and stable, not made of styrofoam. Alright, okay. That should be good enough to get this one to the exit, even if I don't grab the other one by this method. But it looks promising either way. I mean, I know that they're a bit shit, but they're not normally, you know, a man can break it with a sledgehammer shit. Okay. Actually, I'm going to pull that a bit further forwards. Now, if I'm really smart, I can use that crane to pick the thing up. I just need to get it out here first. 
Oh, well, if you say so. Alright, there's that one. So, outside here we've got... Oh, fuck. Okay, so what I want to do is drop that one down to this level. So if I knock a hole in the floor, such as with my good friend Bomb, I should be able to, like, drag it over to the edge and drop it down, and then use the crane to get it the last bit of the way. As long as I keep it under the bridge, actually. Hmm. Perhaps... If I get into the sky bridge and I make a hole in the sky bridge and I drop it down, then the roof of the sky, sky bridge will protect the situation. So I'm going to pull this a little bit further forwards again. Alright, that looks good. That should do. Oh, that's concerning. Kind of this man to have installed a lift in his house exactly where I need it to lift me. Bomb is pretty good. Bomb is pretty good. Alright, that means I need to make another hole. Okay. I don't want to use bomb again. Well, that worked. <laughs> Okay, so now I want to get into the sky bridge. Can I just drag it the whole way? Looks like if I swing it end to end, I can drag it. I can't lift it up enough, but I can... sort of roll it? Oh, this whole thing rolls back. Hmm. It's got to be a better way. what it's stuck on. Why could I lift it before and now I can't? What happens if I tie it? What happens if I move it with something else? It looks like it's actually stuck. Hmm. I'm gonna put a bomb on here again and then try and use the other thing. Probably the best I can hope for. Right, where's the crane?
What I'll need to do is lift it without it coming from out from under the sky bridge. Crane should be able to do that. Unless, of course, Crane grabs a bit of debris instead of the fucking thing. I'm so close to finishing this now. Because I've already run over time, which is uh, an important consideration. If I... Okay, I'm going to leave that there for a second and I'll smash out the bottom layer of the bridge. Without breaking the top, that's very important. And then I'll have a little bit more room to manoeuvre and then I can get it onto the thing and then we can leave. And we'll get on with our lives. Wait, why did I come up here? Oh yeah. we go, get in. As long as I lock this one down, we're good, and then we're finished. Quick save. I could just pitch this directly into the drink from here, actually, but then I might struggle to escape. Shit. We okay? Holy shit, that was close. Alright, current plan. Add this one to the pile. Shit. Fuck. Okay. That's not gonna work. I just need to drive more carefully, it's fine. trees that are causing me problems, I should have known.
All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my escape vehicle, drop, drive that through the building into the water. And then drop the rest of them in the water, which I hope will work. Okay, that does work. Good to know. Okay. Plan time is go, or it's go time for my plan, I guess. Also, my Twitch manager fucking broke, so I missed all of those messages. Oh god, I've been streaming for nearly way too long. Okay. I feel like a portal gun mod would kind of trivialize this game. Uh, I've never tried it, but, you know, for a game that's about building routes between places and travelling between them as fast as possible, a portal gun would kind of trivialise it. Right, okay, I did it. I made it to the end. Time to continue. Time to dive back into the main room. Time to immediately... If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.